Yo, welcome to Set the Record Straight, and today I got Jaden Wing with me. He's setting the record straight. Yo, Jaden, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Man, I'm just a young man trying to go play college ball and possibly go to the league, man. Man, man playing college ball, man. He want to play college ball, do something with his life. You know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to sit around and do nothing. Do it's nothing so bad in the community. Uh, shit, what inspired you to start playing sport, man? Man, just seeing the environment, what the athletes be doing, it just mo- motivated me, really. Sure. Yeah, motivated. Uh, who who some of them um, people who um, influenced your career, like, made you want to start? Man, I would say Deion Sanders, LeBron, and Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Uh, do you do you look at the athletes uh like superheroes? Uh, for sure, like role models. Yeah. For, for sure. sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it, same with me, man. Growing up, shit, I looked at them boy like superhero too. So shit, they they gave me a a good insight where I wanted to take my life, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what are some challenges that you face daily like, being an athlete and just the everyday struggle, man? Um, just getting through the days for real. It just be mentally tough. That's, mentally tough. Okay. Yeah, that's and elaborate on that. Um, you know, it, it's like your last set. You working out, you be like, "Dang, mm-hmm. do I really want to do this? Is it yeah. is it really worth it, bro? Do I want to be an athlete anymore?" You know what I'm saying? Like, for sure, man. I, I understand that, man. I used to be the same way when I was rapping, man. Like, like one day, I go in that bit. Boom, boom, boom. Post a song. It'll do something, but it, it like I wanted to do more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, shit. Hey, they got to keep your head in the game, man. Just keep staying focused. Don't give up. For sure. Uh, why why did you want to get on this podcast? Man, I just really wanted to support you for real. You know what I'm saying? Then sure. You my home, but so why not? Yeah, why not, man? Uh, what influence did this podcast have on you? Um, feel like I can just spread my truth for real, for real, and my mind, how I think. Yes, sir. Uh, you saying you living in your truth, man? Is that's actually a blessing? Cause shit, most these niggas around here they living in the lie. Most of them living in the facade. Uh, they ain't telling they true. That's why a lot of bad shit happening to them. Uh, but you, I can say you a stand up guy. So it's good to hear, man. What do most people misunderstand about you? Um, I don't even, I don't even know for real. I can't even say. <laughs> I guess, I guess they think I'm mean because I'm so closed off. Like I don't really talk for real. So I guess they assume I'm mean. But, yes, I, don't, but I don't really know though. I gotta ask them that. Yeah, man. Uh, say if, if I was you, man, say I wouldn't even be worried about it, man. Like that really, the they're really the key to the light right now. Say they're being closed out here. You you open out there. Shit, nothing won't go good for you. You're open. Everybody know what's going for you. Man. You got envious people, man. You got to stay away from them type of people, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, What are your views on the community right now? Like, where do you stand with our community? I feel like we can be um better in some aspects. We can improve for sure. Um, I just feel like we can – it's always room for improvement. Mm-hmm. Elaborate on that. Like, what, what, what do you think could be improved? Man, we need to stop the violence. I know it sounds corny, but, <laughs> bro, like, you don't know, like, how people life change when you kill somebody. Like, that's different. That change yeah. that changed everybody's life around them or the person. It don't even matter, like. You don't know yeah. what you be doing to somebody else when you kill somebody. So, yeah, man, a lot of a lot of niggas around here, they go they go around here spinning the block, shit like that, posting about it and everything. 
but they don't really think about how the, the victim family might feel mm. or, or how the, the loved ones around them might feel. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they ain't got no sympathy. In the lab podcast, do you believe, I said this in the lab podcast, so do you believe that there's no more love? Like, love hasn't been taught in homes? Mm, it's still love for sure. It just different perspectives, really, because, like, it's all about how you've been brought up and how you treat people and how you just look at different things. Yeah. yeah. How does how does the violence in our in not necessarily our community but around the world how does that have an impact on you and your family? Man, we just gotta move accordingly for real. Like you can't just be out here just out here and not safe. You gotta be safe. Yeah, man. Uh, My, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, like family just talk about it every day. Like it's crazy. The world is changing every day. Everybody getting killed, shot, locked up. It's just sad, bro, for real. Yeah, man, it's sad, man. Like, uh, and most of the time, like, it don't even it don't even be a race thing. Shit, it just be us. You know what I'm saying? Us versus man. each other. You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, we we'll, we we'll rather hate on our kind and hate a hate on a a, a different race. You feel what I'm saying? Like for sure. I that, I didn't see, and that be hurting us for real though. Cause how you gonna put your own race down and just you know what I'm saying? Like what they got going, you just gonna put it down? Like that ain't facts, right, man. That ain't right. Man, I didn't I didn't see I didn't see niggas click up with Mexicans, and then. The Mexican do some good shit. The niggas congratulate them. But when the, when the, when if somebody they own do some good, they they hate on it. They hate they hate it ain't them. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Uh, but I I see the bros like anytime I see the bro doing good, I just support. You know what I'm saying? To get my so, two cents every time. I feel like I feel like that what the world be needing and shit. Uh, uh, people to get their two cents. A lot of people don't want to get their two cents. They uh, they afraid. They feel they don't have a voice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they feel like they uh two cent don't matter. You ain't going nowhere. But but um, what have you learned from your experiences of being black in America? Mm, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really had to go through nothing really. Cause mm-hmm. I ain't I ain't really. Been in no bad crowds, I wouldn't say. So I really haven't went through that as my peers. So I don't know. I can't really answer that for real. Yeah, man, you me and you are a little different, man. Like see that's why I like talking to people, man. Uh me, I was in a bad crowd. I, I would say I, I started the bad crowd, if we being honest with <laughs> Uh Put myself in harm's way. Uh, now I'm realizing that was a dumb, dumb thing to do. And uh, I want, I want to uh, teach the kid: uh, don't put yourself in harm's way. Just live you. Don't live with everybody else doing. That what I was doing. I was living for everybody else. Shit. Yeah, you can't be a follower in this time. Like, yeah. like you cannot be a follower, bro. That's something you cannot be. Cause you gonna, yeah. it's always gonna get you in trouble in the long run. For sure, man. Um. Uh, being a follower, though, being a follower got some positives and they got some negatives. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you, you can follow the competent person or you can follow the ignorant person. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, we can follow people like Muhammad Ali following his footsteps. Uh, and we can follow the nigga like King Von being his footsteps. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Murdering people, dissing the dead. And then he ended up there. You feel what I'm saying? Muhammad Ali has a legacy. So... Being a follower, you can be, you can go. It's not necessarily being a follower in a positive way. Is that you go your own way about it, and you can make a change with what you're doing. Feel me? Yeah, I know that. I know this sound cliche, but you are who you hang around for real. For yeah. sure, that is absolutely true. Man, and uh, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. My some of my experiences that um I was who I was hanging around, bro. Listen to me, I kid you not, bro. My routine was wake up, smoke, smoke like crazy, 
and do nothing every day. And it was with the same four group, the same four people every day. Wake up, smoke, and do nothing, man. And since I removed myself from them four people, man, it, my life had been uh, it been filled with life. You know what I'm saying? It's been filled with uh, high emotion and good and good outcomes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that statement right there really true. If I if I'm hanging in a room full of junkies, I'm gonna end up being a junkie. It it, it may not happen right right now, but say over time it will happen. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I like to surround myself by good company people. So, uh, um, <laughs> I I know you uh you're an athlete and all, man. But uh, who your Mount Rushmore uh, football player, man? Definitely Sean Taylor. <laughs> For even, sure, man. Even though he didn't play long, you know what happened, but he was a dog for real. Man. Uh, Ray Lewis. Got to, uh, got to have Ray. I put, I put Tom Brady up there. You know what I'm saying, uh, Deion Sanders. Of course, you cannot leave him out. Yeah. Um. Shit, it's hard. Dang. Jerry Rice. For sure, man. Um, miss as I mentioned in the mentioning these people in your top five. Um, watching them older. Did you, did you look at that moment as like watching them as you got older? Did you look at that moment as like uh you adapted that to your play your play style? Oh, for sure. Especially Ray Lewis, like. Uh, we would like listen to a speech before our games and stuff, mm-hmm. and I would just try to put that energy into my play. For sure, man. Um, how would how would you implement that? Uh, just play with a killer instinct for real. And yeah, man. <laughs> killer instinct, man. You, uh. I watched some of your game, man. You you a different beast out there, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. What was your best? What was your best moment on the football field this year? Nah, my best moment was really my Jackson game. I mm-hmm. feel like I feel like I had a the best defensive game of my career. Yeah, man. What you stat out there? Oh, you talking about in like total or just that for that game? That game, that game. But I had about four pad breakups. I had about like six or seven tackles that game. And then I, I think I had a tackle for loss too. Yeah, man. Give my boy a round of applause, man. My boy a round of applause. And, you know, um, a lot of folks dream of playing football, but you really be playing football, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you out there doing it for real. Um, yeah. Speak on speak on them O's you got. Uh, I got three right now. As of right now, they official. Yes, sir. Um, I got one from John Melvin University, Union College, and I recently just picked one up Monday. Um Ur Scene College, and mm-hmm. I just they gave me the scholarship though, so that was my that was my academic and um, football scholarship. So I don't want I won't even have to worry about paying for school for real. And, and that's a blessing, man. Uh, coming from where we coming from, man, you know, a hard paying for school. So shit, that, that's a real blessing. Um, um. Playing football growing up, did you look at that as a a, a coping me- a coping mechanism? Um, not nah, not really. I mean, I'll have my days. I'll be mad, of course, but as a kid, I was just really having fun with it because I didn't know, like mm-hmm. the outside looking in. I'm just a kid just playing. But yeah. as I got old, I was like, "Dang, he got making money. He got providing for their family." I feel like I can do the same. So, so man, that gotta have that bread when a mindset. Um, so, what are your visions for this year? Um, definitely commit this year. 
go to a school. Uh, get some money. You know, you can never have enough. For sure, man. Um, you got to always have the money. You got to have the money everywhere you go. Money always on the mind. Oh, yeah. And, and just keep pushing, bro. It's for real. Hey, just stay on them. Uh, I hear you, I hear you talk about the bros a lot. Um, who yeah. some who some of the bros that uh had your back along the way? You know, my boy Dominique, you had him on. Um, for sure, man. Shout out D two three night man. for sure. Um, you know TJ Cersei. So shout my out big TJ, scary Terry. Yeah, Florida Gator. So um, man, you know Corey be on me. Mhm. For sure. Um, shout out three shot man. For sure. Hit music hard too, bro. Man, y'all get at my boy Three Shot, man. Uh, hard upcoming rapper. Uh, I will, I will try to have him on the show. He say he coming on, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> just get at him, man. I'm gonna uh, put one of his songs in the uh, description, man. Um, with with Beyond too, J Beyond. Show. Yeah, uh, that's about it, though. A round of applause for Jaden and the rest of them, boy. A round sure. of applause. Seeing, seeing what, uh, how far you done came now, what has been your biggest mistake? Mm. Letting people in my life that should have never been there to begin with. Mm. Good sure. deal. Elaborate on that. That's that's real deep. Um, it just they weren't on the same thing I was on, and I just let them in my life. Mm. And I should I should uh I should have just kept on the grind for real, cause they were holding me back. So man, hey, hey, hey man, <laughs> hey that hey that was some deep shit right now. Hey, that <laughs> real, <They're> real, hey. <laughs> Uh, why would you say that, man? Like, uh, yeah, like, like, why would you say that, or what made you say that, man? Just my past experience. I was like, they ain't really on what I'm on. They just wasting my time for it. They ain't really value valuing my time. So why did why should they be in my life? You know. So, um. I had a, I had a lot of a lot of uh mistakes in my life too though uh as mis- as in mistakes I'm not talking about mistakes I made mistakes as in people that I uh let come around me man you got to really watch out for that man the energy should be there but you know we we not really aware of it you know what I'm saying yeah. we ain't got no we ain't got no awareness of it but you got to always be aware at all time man you, you know even though you, even though look even though you don't got no feelings about it man just sit down and say, ask yourself, man, like, is that person for me? Uh, they bring me what I need. Feel what I'm saying? That's yeah. Some, that's some ways you can you can get that insight before before it all unfolds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what are some things you having trouble with, trouble with right now? Uh, just being consistent for real. Mm. That's that's really it. Consistency. Mm. Consistency, man. Uh, I I want to know, uh, procrastinators, man. <laughs> oh yeah, so uh, I be I be putting everything on. Man, it's like uh, I I say I'm gonna get it done at three o'clock. I'm like, nah, I'm wait to five. Five get here, I'm gonna wait to six. Man. Six get here. I don't never, never get, get it done. <laughs> man, God, it really be like that though. Man, a project a project or some shit come up, man. Teacher say we got a week. I'm I'm at the midnight before it uh do, <laughs> man. And that's stressing, man. Uh, do uh procrastination um have a big impact on your life? Uh, not anymore for real. I still do it time to time, but mm-hmm. I try to. Um, you you ever heard of the five second rule? Uh, no, elaborate. You know, like um. You count down from five, mm-hmm. and then you just make your decision. Yeah, hey, hey, there's some good shit right there. I ain't, hey, I ain't never heard of that. <laughs> I might have to yeah. start using that, bro. Uh, 
that's some good shit right there. I ain't never heard of five second rule, man. Yeah. Uh let's dive back into the community side of thing. Uh what is your big problem with? What is one of your biggest problems with the black community? Other than just violence itself. Man, these youngins really making bad decisions in their life and and it's just messing them up for the long run. Like mm. something you did when you were like say 15, 16, mm-hmm. then it come back around and bite you. Yeah, man. Uh it like you wanna you wanna get it right with certain female, but you you it always that thought in the back of your head, damn shot it when she was coming up and she was that you know. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to I ain't trying to discredit women and that, you know, I ain't trying to slander them. But uh yeah, we as men, we always got that thought. So ladies, if you, you listen to the podcast, man, clean yourself up, man. Uh, <laughs> become become a new you. You feel what I'm saying? F- fuck the pad. Fuck everything going on with you right now. Just, just step outside of yourself and be like, is this me? Is this who I want to re- represent myself for the rest of the life? You know what I'm saying? Hey, what we said earlier, though, don't be a follower. Man, do not be a just follower. Because, just because you see these girls doing what they doing, do not Man, do what they doing. And that's the, that's the biggest you never thing. Know. That's the biggest thing, bro. Man. The biggest thing is all these females click up with each other and play father leader on the one female, bro. And then end up fighting. Man, I don't, I don't get that. I never, fighting. I never got that. They fight, and a cup. I give a shit, but later they back cool. And Man. then uh, another person in the group, they start fussing. Boom, 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 boom. It's just like damn, y'all. If if you see this, all the tension in there, y'all shouldn't be friends. You know what I'm saying? At all. It uh, makes no sense. I feel like I feel like most of that come from uh their mothers, but they not always the mother. It really the father, bro. <laughs> like Yeah. They ain't got nobody they ain't got nobody to teach them morals and standards and shit. Like they ain't you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh most of the women here that I know of that I know of that I speak to, most of them ain't got no dad in the home. You feel what I'm saying? Um uh, we always talk about how men struggle with fathers and they without without fathers in their home, but female really got it bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's very important too. Yeah, on the on the female side, because you know, like most most girls anyway, like they father, like they that's the most important thing to them. Mm-hmm. Cause like you know, boys, we mama boy. Yeah, for sure. Like, mama boy, you know grandma saying? boy, for sure. Uh, what's so symbolic about that is like you you never hear uh, uh about um father son relationship not not like on a exclusive uh exclusive side of things such as like daddy little girl anything like that you know yeah. dad dads pull up they teach their son uh teach their son how to go on a, a, a good route in life but uh with, with the girls it you got to teach a uh, what a real man is, uh, how to be safe on her own, shit like that. Um, with boys, that's a natural instinct. With us, we don't really need all of that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you just talk to fan for yourself, for real. Yeah, man. Um, um, I don't, I don't really know though. I don't know why these female do that, man. <laughs> man, me either. That's it. That's just that's just a question. That's just a question that ain't gonna never get solved, man. All we can do is just say we have our own little charism to be the best. But now, possible. but now though, you got to get a girl on the pod so we can ask her. Man, <laughs> gotta. Man. I, hey, now nah, a group, a group of female too. Like they be having different mindsets yeah. and point of view, so it, they would be good. It, it's always that one female that thinks universal. Like as I, what I say about universally is that we have two sides of the brain. You got a universal side and you got a normal side. The universal side is you think you think how everybody outside of you think. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And you just thinking normally on the one side of your brain, shit. You just stuck. 
you know, that's why they say certain female be stuck up, you know. Um, but it is that one, it always that one um, female in the friend group that nobody pays attention to, but she think universally. And then be the best one, bro. For sure. The best one, man. Uh, then the ones you want to build foundation with right now. Once again, I'm not discrediting no woman. <laughs> uh, I'm not massaging <laughs> none of that. Uh, but <laughs> know the female that you want to get beside, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, growing up, what have been your experiences with certain females? Uh, it's it been rough, you know what I'm saying? It's been on both sides, though. It ain't just like it's on one person. Mm-hmm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. But, you know, it happens. And you just learn from your lessons for real. Man, every every problem that happened in our life, man, it happened for a reason. It's For a, a reason. Man, it's a, sure. it's a lesson for a bigger blessing, man. Uh. <laughs> I got this stuff right now, man. This shit is a good goddamn conversation. Uh, oh God, everything wrong. But you, hey, hey, but you never know though. Like the girl you probably fell out with, you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably get right in the long run. You just gotta be patient for real. Yeah, man. All, or, all we got is time. Yeah. Time here, yeah. man. Uh, you can use time to your best at, uh, advantage. So you feel what I'm saying? Uh, it could take it could take six months. A year, maybe even three years. Shit, on that time you just work on yourself, man. Build a build a better you and shit. You just you that um stay right with your partner. Um, how do you feel? How you feel about relationship now, man? Um, I feel like if you like the person, they like you. You should definitely get into one. But if you just going into it blind and not really wanting the same thing as the other person. It ain't gonna work. Mm. You shouldn't do that to nobody. Mm, 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 mm. They're, just, they're just wasting their time for real. Waste of damn time. Hey, man. hey you want to be spending? <laughs> oh, cooking, God. Cooking right now. I've, man. Been, I've been waiting to get on here, boy. <laughs> you cooking. No, hey. Uh, what's some, what's some thing that you, what, what's something you look into a girl, man? When you, when you first meet her, what's something you look at? Mm. She got to be smart. I can't have no dumb girl. <laughs> you got to you got to look good. Mm. I can't be going. Mm. Can't be going with no ugly female. Um you got to have some knowledge on you too. Man. You're not all about smart. You just know how to move in certain situations. So sure. um, you got to be able to dress. Mm. You don't got to dress every day, but like, you know, just put yourself together. Um, be respectful of others. Don't be acting stuck up. I don't like stuck up female. All that um, hard plan to get. Yeah, that that ain't it, bro. That that play it out, man. We ain't kids no more. We are we not, are not. kids. Uh, so things I look into a woman are uh, most definitely got to be respectful. You got to have knowledge of your own. You you can't be gullible. And just believe mm. believe everything that somebody tell you. Uh, you gotta have something unique about yourself. Like you look at all the females here where we stay, all of them got that same presence. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't, sure. I don't know if it just we've been living a monster for so long, but all of them got that same presence about themselves. Like um, some of them be too flashy, some of them like drama, some of them. They just not in the open for real, like you know what I'm saying. Like we 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 tend to fall in love with a girl that's not in the open for real. But sometimes a girl be too much in the shadow. You're like, damn, I don't know nothing about you, so shit, I can't get jiggy with you. you feel what I'm saying, you, man. You know, like, like I can't I can't rely on no mess and nothing that like they say get to know somebody first. But like, how can you get to know somebody they living in the shadow? Um, yeah. But you can always bring them out of the shadow and bring them into the light. For surely, most definitely, most definitely, that can happen. Um, do you feel like love resides here in Thomaston? Um, 
Not really. Probably like a few months, you'll laugh. <laughs> but ain't no years. Ain't no years on going. I ain't, I ain't seen it. <laughs> if somebody if somebody showed me, all right, I'll give it to you, but I ain't seen it. You ain't seen it, man? Nah, not at all. Man. Uh, I don't think I don't think it I me personally it's one, it's it's a good girl out here for for, for sure. It's a, it's a, I ain't saying it's I ain't right. saying it's not, but, but you know it's it's girls in different areas. Yeah, for sure. Always. For everybody. Yeah, for everybody said uh it close to eight billion people on earth, man. You it, 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 <laughs> And half of them, yeah. half of that is a female, so she, it's a it's a female somewhere, man. Oh God! But is she black, white, purple, or yellow? <laughs> man, you gonna find somebody, man. Uh, my my struggle with females is is up to par, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's some got to give, you know. Uh, it's just uh, it it been a long road, you know. I. I had a girlfriend, you know, she, you know, she cool, whatever, you know. Uh, yeah. Cool people. It ain't, it ain't bad, you know, it ain't, it ain't like, oh, fuck, oh, because that ain't what I'm promoting, you feel what I'm saying? It, uh, it's just, we, we, we just need some time, you know? Yeah. Time heals everything. Like I said earlier, time heals everything. Um, What's something, what's something that keep you motivated, man? Um. Just knowing where I can be in life, and if I work hard enough, I can be there. Mm-hmm. I just gotta work. Yeah, man. It's it's proven. Like you see, the millionaire, they ain't start as a millionaire. They work their whole life for sure. Mm. Uh, when we look at millionaires, most most Americans don't reach millionaire status until they're fifty years old. Oh yeah, I just seen that. Um, Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. He he was starting a lot of companies. Did you know though? Um, I think he like created PayPal. Who who did? I think. Elon Musk. Hell no! I, I ain't know that. <laughs> I think so though. If I'm not mistaken, he he created some money app we using now, and he sold it to somebody. Hey, I, I don't know, man. I, ain't, I gotta. If I'm not mistaken, I gotta look into that. Matter matter of fact. Matter of fact, we we can look into it right now. He created some money thing. I don't we can know look though. Into that right now. Yep, he did. He did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he co-founded uh PayPal, and uh he sold it. That's, you that's, learn something new yeah, every hey, day. I didn't even know that. Hell, uh, shit. You <laughs> see, these man, these, these millionaires got time on their hands, man. They got time on their hands. But see, that's why I want to keep working, bro. Keep working, 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 striving for better, man. Shit, um, I ain't trying to be fifty when I when I took me in that status. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to get it right now for real. Real life, this, man. That's real life. <laughs> But legal though, legal. Yeah, legal. Hey, all that scam shit y'all doing, yeah. leave that shit alone. That is, yeah, that is not it, bro. Leave, leave that, that shit, shit alone, man. Stop looking for me. Be in jail for the rest of your life, man. Do not get off of it, man. All you scamming ass want- niggas in Thomaston, you gonna be fifty years old. They are gonna knock on your door. You gonna be chilling in a big ass house <laughs> with a bad bitch. They gonna knock on your door and say you gotta serve the rest of your life in prison. Do not do man, it. Gonna be sick. Do not scam, bro. Man, that's not it. Not the way. Get your money legally. Do it the positive way. Get your son to look up. Get your son something to look up to. Get your daughter something to look up to. Mm. And the rest of your family. Stop scamming. Stop scamming. Twenty twenty three. Please. Uh, what's something you? What's something you got to get off your chest, man? Man. I don't really got too much. I think I said it. I think I spoke my piece for real. You spoke your piece, man. Yeah, well, let, let's talk about peace, man. What do, what do you consider peace? Man, just in your own way, you just comfortable by your, by yourself for real, in your own skin. Man. You ain't really scared to hang by yourself. 
You don't really need nobody. You straight. Man, I, that one thing I feel though, I, I feel a lot of people are scared to live in their own skin. They they wish they had somebody else's man. Uh, man. they haven't found that. Hey, bro, drink your water. Drink your water, man. Stay hydrated, man. That we on right now, man. Water, man. Stay hydrated, man. Go to the gym. Take care of yourself. You look good. You feel good. You wake up in the morning. Tell yourself that you love yourself, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna change your whole day, your mood. Everything gonna change, man. For sure. Um, what's your what's your what's your relationship with God, man? Uh, the Creator. Um, I ain't gonna say. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm a Christian in them, but I, I believe in them. Mm -hmm. I pray. You know what I'm saying? I I feel like I wouldn't be in this position in my life if it wasn't for him. Mm -hmm. Um Do you encourage do you encourage the community to get into uh church uh the synagogue or more spiritual uh, side of life? Oh yeah, for sure. It's, there's a lot of um, ways you can tap in with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it's good for you too, though. Yeah, man. It's like, once you reach that God frequency, man, like, um, life just moves at your pace. You know what I'm saying? Whatever pace you wanted to move, it just moves. You feel what I'm saying? You want to be fast, it moves fast. You want to be slow, it goes be slow. Whatever pace you want to take your life, it going to move that way. Reach that God frequency, man. Um, what do you feel about the God frequency? Do you understand what I'm saying by that? I don't. Elaborate on that. Uh, you got frequencies throughout the body, man. You got seven chakras. But you really have over over 200 of them, man. It's energy pours throughout the body. But the main ones that people talk about are the uh, seven. You got the root. You got the solar. You got the sacral. You got the heart. You got the throat. You got the third eye and the crown chakra. The root chakra. Mm -hmm. The root chakra. That's where all your energy transcends from. You feel what I'm saying? Come from the root. You know what I'm saying? How you plant a seed. And it got that root. Yeah. It's just your attachments to this earth. Your purpose. Everything. You feel what I'm saying? You can't always live in your root chakra. As as above, so below. You feel what I'm saying? You live in, you live in your root chakra shit. And then you're going to have your bad days. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, you know, in the Bible. Me. I done read the Bible. I done studied the Bible. Um, the root chakra is no more than just hell. You feel what I'm saying? If you if yeah. you wake up every day, tell yourself that you uh you hate people, you hate earth, you hate hate God, you hate the Creator, uh, you just hate your life. You know what I'm saying? That's living in hell. That's hell, man. Uh, yeah, words words are powerful though. Very very powerful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people don't people don't understand that though, man. Very, very powerful. As, as you work your way up, though, man, as you, you go through the solar, the sacral, and the heart chakra, the heart chakra, man, the heart chakra, that's where your love vibrate the most, man. When you start to say you love the earth, you love God, you love the women, bro, you can't get life without women. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to love women. You got to say you love the birds. Everything on this earth, you got to say you love it because without that, you want to operate. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. For sure, man. That's what the heart chakra play a good role. You know, you work your way up. You go through the uh, throat chakra. Throat chakra, man. You gotta always live in your truth, man. You you living in the lie, man. Um, your whole life gonna be a facade. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. You you're living in a lie. You can't speak your truth. The throat chakra is all about speaking your truth. You can't speak your truth, then you just a less of a less of a man, less of a woman yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, always speak your truth. Never, never shy away from the truth. The truth needs to be heard. A lot of people scared of the truth. That's why they don't talk about it. What's what's your thoughts on people uh, not telling the truth? Man, you should never lie. If you gonna if you tell if you tell one lie. My mom always told me, you tell one lie, you're going to end up telling another. Mm. And it's it just going to keep going. And you're going to just have to come clean and tell the truth eventually. So Man. you should always tell the truth first. So many people done told lies. They made that bed and they had to lay down. Imagine living in a lie, waking up every day. You will start up. I, 
vibrate out your root chakra more because you're living in a lot. Um, you work your way up, man. You work your way up to your third eye. Bro, for all the people out there that believes a third eye is a, a eye in the fucking center of your head, shit like that, man, all that, bro. <laughs> no, that's just symbolism. Symbolism. <laughs> Look up the definition of symbolism, bro. Come back to the podcast when you get your definition. Come back. The third eye is not an eye in the center of your fucking head. That's just what uh the Buddhists they that's how they idolize it, bro. Uh the third eye is your pineal gland. Your pineal gland, that's how you dream. Um you, you can do a lot of shit with a pineal gland, man. The pineal gland is powerful, man. You uh you gotta activate the pineal gland. You 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 see shit for what it really is, man. Uh it's all about perception. If uh, Jaden say one plus one and two, and I'd be like, hell nah, man. One plus one and five. He'd be like, fuck nah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's my perception. You can't tell me if I'm wrong or not. That's how I perceived it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. The, thir- the third eye, man, just seeing the truth for what it is, man. Uh, seeing past the bullshit, basically. And that God frequency I was talking about, they call it the crown chakra, man. Crown chakra where you... Uh, you come one with yourself and everything around you, man. Uh, you start vibrating it throughout your higher self. Your higher self know everything about you. That's that inner child that you have in you. When you was a child, the shit you loved doing, and you grew up, you can't do it no more. But that that that, that shit made you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that God frequency, man. That that real happiness, peace, and happiness, and love also, man. You can't forget those three things in your life. I always have peace. I always had happiness. I always had love. Don't never let nobody steal that from you, man. Um, you tap, you tapped in with all of them, man. Most definitely, man. <laughs> I I ain't gonna come on this bitch and be like, I tap in every day. Cause shit, that's not what I fucking do. Uh, <laughs> most people, most most of them spiritual niggas y'all be watching on YouTube. Not all of them. Some of them niggas be living in a facade too, man. Uh. Spiritual people, uh, everything not love and light, bro. It's some darkness throughout that bitch, too. You got to do shadow work. You got to uh, face traumas from when you were younger. You feel what I'm saying? You got to live that truth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot of shit that happened when you were young that you just ignored, but it made you feel a certain way. And so that's how you carry on for the rest of your life. You may not know it, but um, you got to do it, though. You got to do that shadow work. You got to get rid of that trauma. You don't want to pass that trauma on to your kids, you know. It's in your DNA, so you might want to remove it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kids ain't nothing but a a, a genetically a genetically modified version of you, man. Nothing more. Um, tapping in not that hard, bro. Tapping in not that hard. Uh, and I, and I, I ain't asking nobody to wake up every day and meditate for 30 minutes straight. Shit, did I wake up every day and meditate 30 minutes straight? Hell no. <laughs> Hell yeah. no, man. It's Everything in your life is a ritual. It's a practice, my nigga. You had to practice how to walk. You had to practice how to talk. You had to practice your ABCs, nigga. You ain't just wake up and do it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. That is one thing I do, though. Mm-hmm. I meditate. Medi- but I ain't like hit. I ain't heavy on it, but you know, I I take my deep breaths and mm. close my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a blessing, man. Just, just peace. That's a blessing for real, for real, real blessing, man. Um, you put me on though, for sure, bro. Meditation is the key to life, man. I don't meditate all the time, man. I probably meditate once a month, bro. That shit bad. I know it bad, cause shit, you holding in a lot of shit that you need to like focus on. So I don't be focusing a lot, bro. That's 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 my problem. I don't focus a lot. My meditation, what I do instead of like closing my eyes and breathing and shit, I learn breathing technique. So I do the technique throughout the day. And um I use the three six nine method, man. You know what the three six nine method is, man? I don't explain it to uh, me. Uh Nikola Tesla. Uh he was a scientist. They say he was a scientist, but Nikola Tesla is actually from Venus. Uh in in this world that we live in, everything is a facade. They're not going to tell you the truth, man. Uh, he came from Venus. It, it's more people on this, in this galaxy than you think it is, bro. P- people outside of uh, people outside of the Earth, you feel what I'm saying? It's, it's way way advanced people. Uh, Nikola Tesla came to the Earth. He uh, 
learn how to manipulate energy, man. And they call it the 369 method. You say something three times in the morning, six times in the night. I mean, in the daytime and nine times at night. They call it manifestation. Oh, yeah. Manifesting, man. Uh, that's something Nikola Tesla taught. He taught how to uh, remove negative energy from the atmosphere and uh, your electromagnetic fields and shit. Bro, tapping in is not hard, bro. I, I would not know this if I didn't tap in. Black people, mainly black people. If you 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 any other race on my um, watching my podcast and no discrimination to y'all, everybody can tap in. But mainly my people, man, y'all need to tap in. Uh, tapping in is a, a wellness for us, man. It's for general wellness. You don't need to go to the doctor and take medicine, and you don't need it, bro. Tap in, you. Hey, uh, Doctor Sebi, he proved that though. Show sure, man, hey, He's shout out Doctor Seven, long little Doctor Seven. They uh, for sure. He, uh, they killed my boy, man. A lot of people do not know about him. Y'all should look. Y'all should look that up. Research Doctor Sebi. For sure. Doctor Sebi was that dude. He taught everybody how to live in the uh, alkaline lifestyle, raw alkaline foods. You don't need meat. <laughs> you don't need meat. You mm. don't need Kool Aid, bro. Leave that shit alone. I'm. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna come on this bitch and be like, I don't left the shit alone, man. But like, it's like progress, bro. Like I told you, bro. You gotta learn your ABC. You gotta learn how to walk. You gotta learn how to talk, man. You gotta learn this shit. I get around people, man. You probably the first person that I sat sat with me, man. Uh, ears open, man. Instead of like clowning, uh, discrediting my my uh. My thought process, anything, man. Sat here and you listen. You feel what I'm saying? You, you taking it in. You tapping in with me. Um, for sure. I go. And you got you got to do that though, man. It with any situation, you know what I'm saying? It's it, it's so many point of views out here. You got to be open to it. Yes, really. man. You got to be open to listen to anything, even though you don't like it, bro. I uh, yesterday on the podcast, I had D two three on that bit. Uh, he say you go to church, you know, you believe in Jesus and shit. I did not discredit D two three not one time. You know what I'm saying? Uh I told I, I gave him my opinion about it though. I was like, I don't I'm not a real religious person. I uh, but I think Christianity and other religions are forced on us by uh slave owners because that's what really happened, you feel what I'm saying? But I ain't discredited. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though you don't like some bro, that's what people don't understand. Even though you don't like some bro, you can not discredit it. You gonna make people feel less than themselves. Even though they not less than themselves, you just there's just something you gonna do. Um, back to what I was saying about this tapping in shit, man. Uh, I talk to people about this shit. They give me that look, man. That that NPC look. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, you tell you walk past the NPC, they just stand there looking at you, like, bro. They give me that NPC look, man. I don't, I don't want to say too much, you know. Hey, but you know, it ain't a lot of people thinking like you. You yes, know what I'm saying? So they want to, they want to understand for real, man. I, when I tell you, you say you are what you hang around, man. Uh, when I got to talking like this around the old niggas I used to hang with. No discredit to them boys. Either them boys, they doing good. They but they out playing basketball. I love to see that shit, but. When I go to tell them about how to change their life and uh, become better at basketball, become better at social skills, become better at just everything, you feel what I'm saying, mentally, spiritually, and physically, uh, they get there, they'll be, we'll be talking in the room, they'll be eating some chips or some shit. I tell them, I'll be like, bro, you got to tap in. They'll start eating their chips and just start talking about LeBron James and some shit. Like, how pro can you be? You feel what I'm saying? Like, they, they did not open minded for real. Like, they not critical thinking. Man, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Cause like they so they so closed off. You know what I'm saying? They probably don't even read. They, man. you know, like take do the extra stuff. Man, it's like bro, these people they do they do not read. That's the thing, yeah, bro. They put shit in books. All black people, all black people that is watching my podcast tonight, read you a book. I don't give a fuck if it's green green ass ham, nigga. Read, nigga. You don't even got to read for real. You can do an audio book and just listen to it like read, that. Read, bro. 
Exactly. Everybody got the same fucking vocabulary. That no cap. Uh, twin. Blah 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 blah. Man, man. read, nigga. That's why these niggas talk like that because they ain't got no fucking vocabulary, man. Uh, when you read, you start to uh, expand your brain, man. You read. We remember you saying words for spell, right? Everywhere is a spell. Sure. When, you, when you break down the word read, it's re-add. You re-adding knowledge that you already know, man. Nah, that's that's you good. Re-adding knowledge that you already know. You remember I told you, bro, when you uh when you get to that God frequency, man, you wake up and your higher self is there. It's there to guide you along the way, man. Um it guides you. You start learning shit about the truths about the world, man. You, you know what I'm telling you, bro. Everything's a fucking facade, man. Shit deep. Life is deep. Um, what's your thoughts on life right now, man? Like, what do you what what direction do you think life is heading? Mm, I think it's gonna just spiral out. In the long run, for real, for real, if I'm being honest, mm-hmm. you know, in certain um, spots, it's getting better, but in some, it's staying the same. So, mm. Mm. a lot of this. What, what, what's your thought process on my it, thought process on life? Uh, you, know, you know, a lot of niggas talk about the world ending, shit like this. You know. They talk about uh, yeah. we living in revelations and shit like that. Stop lying to yourself, man. <laughs> Please. Yeah, they don't. Hey. Need, they don't even be known for real. They, they just be, be talking. talking. They they see shit on social media. They they bro. These books are written by people who controlled you and whipped your ass and beat your ass, bro. Find the truth for yourself, my nigga, bro. The world is not ending no time soon. Uh. No time soon. It, it, maybe, maybe when we gone, you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. And if there is an end, it's not. It's not physical no more. You know, everything is manipulated, man. It's a lot of manipulation out here that we don't know about. This shit, me and you talking right now, can be a manipulation. You never know. You know what I'm saying. There's so many, so many outcomes with life itself. You know, for sure. Life got so many outcomes. Um, but. I don't necessarily think the world gonna end with life itself. I feel like life's just gonna start over. Uh, black people, black people, we used to rule this world at a point. You know what I'm saying? We used to rule this realm. Uh, ancient Kemet days. We taught we taught other races how to how to uh, do certain things, such as walk, talk, uh, how to feed themselves three times a day, how to bathe. Certain thing like that. When we taught these people this knowledge, they took it and used it against us. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I feel I feel it's gonna be a point in time where black people uh, wake up one morning and just remember who the fuck they are. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure that that's gonna happen too. Uh, I, I really believe they gonna remember. They gonna remember uh, who the fuck they are. Um, life is uh unbalanced right now. Uh, we play a major part in the unbalancing, you know. Um, we killing each other. We spitting on each other, mamas. Spitting on graves. We we spitting, we spitting in the creator's face here. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I'm saying, man, this is why I get on this podcast. I, I talk to D23. I'm talking to you. Uh, I got Bobo in the audience. Uh I want y'all to take the information, man, and just use it. I want everybody listening to it to use this shit. This is what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't none of these, these niggas on the street smoking weed, posting guns every day. Like, that's not me. Like, Yeah, that is that is not a good life to live for. That ain't how you want to live your mark, man. Um, man. I want everybody to, to take a step back from this podcast and just just view the world, just view the world from a creator's perspective. If you were the creator, how would you look at yourself right now? You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. Damn, like did you did you do enough? You feel what I'm saying? Like did you did you accomplish yourself enough? 
damn, I know we still in high school right now. Uh, I know some of us ain't got a job. Ain't got no goddamn job. You feel what I'm saying? That's just life. But mm-hmm. it's other shit that you can do to move forward. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You can always have an man, impact. It don't matter what you do, man. You can always. It, it don't matter if you're the best card player. It don't matter if you can, um, you can go out there, bitch, and draw, sing, dance. Bro, do it. It's always a person that got their eye on you, bro. You always going to do something good, bro. Don't don't get no disdain about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, why do you feel so many people have a disdain with themselves? Um, elaborate on that question. Disdain is like a. Uh, I don't even know if I'm saying it right right now because I you know I'm, 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 I'm mouth dry a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it's like it's like a disgust in it, like like a disgust in themselves. Uh, like uh, could have been. You know um, what I'm saying? Like it. Like insecurity, mm-hmm. basically. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Dang, it, it's really their mindset for real. That, that's what it come down to. Mm. It's a mindset thing. Cause if you if you think you ugly, you are gonna think you ugly. It ain't no way around it. That that is deep though. But if you think you for sure. That that that's deep. Um like you said, it's a mindset thing. Uh it's 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 so many ways people can manipulate you. Uh you make you manipulate yourself. A lot of people manipulate themselves, you feel what I'm saying? No nobody else has the power to manipulate you. You manipulate yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. When you walk past certain people, bro, you walk past them. You talk to certain people. You dap certain people. Up, you get their energy, bro. Uh, when you think of a demon, right? You think of a demon as somebody, uh, not not as somebody or uh, a, a spiritual creature who come at you, take your soul and shit. That's what you think a demon is, right? A demon, a demon can be somebody on on a regular day basis. You don't even know you dapping them up. You passing energy with them. For me, everybody has an electromagnetic spectrum. So you put your hand in the electromagnetic field, you get their energy. You understand? Yeah. So you get their energy, and you just wake up with so many depressing thoughts. Um, I hate myself. Thoughts. Stop. Stop passing energy, bro. Just sit alone yourself alone, bro. It's not being alone or by yourself. It's being it's it's being with yourself. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta take time to be with yourself, man. Uh, you ain't gotta dap everybody up. You ain't gotta get everybody a hug. You ain't gotta speak to everybody. But cause all them different energies and frequency colliding together, man, you destroying yourself. You manipulating yourself, man. And the feeling that you ugly. You ain't ugly, man. Everybody beautiful in their own way. Man, the, bro, fuck the physical form. Fuck, fuck being human. The soul is beautiful, nigga. The soul is beautiful. I always remember that the soul is beautiful. Um, how do you feel about the soul, man? What what, what knowledge do you have about the soul? Hmm. Mm, man, I don't know what to say. It's, it's a good, good question, man. Hey, take your time, brother. Um, hurry, 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 hurry. Ready, ready. Dang, we gonna have hey, we, we gonna have to come, come back, back to it, man. We can come back to it. So, let me hear your answer, though. Let me what hear I your feel answer. about the soul. Hey, man, yeah. the soul is fucking unique. Unique as fuck, bro. Have you have you ever seen the fucking uh the swim the swim race with the sperm? Um, I right, think I have. sperm racing to the uterus, my nigga. You are fucking special, nigga. If you're watching this fucking podcast, you are special. Every single last one of y'all are special, man. Uh, your sperm cell had the race, and you won, nigga. You won the race to be here, nigga. So. Value your soul. Uh, 
implement your soul into your life. Stop stop living in your physical form. Stop li living in this physical reality, bro. This reality don't mean shit when you dead. You only here for now. What you mean you going you only live once? Nigga, you only live once. Your soul live forever. It's energy. Feel what I'm saying? People people when yeah. they die, they they talk they want to go to heaven and shit like that. Like, bro, I thought you said you only live once. People man. contradict themselves a lot. It's deep. They contradict themselves a lot, man. Uh live through your soul. Don't live through the physical. Uh, fuck going to parties. Uh, focus on what really matter, man. What what focus on really matter and focus on what's gonna boost the frequency of your soul. You gotta make everything right with the creator before you leave here, man. Um, I got a question, man. What's your thought on the creator, man? Um, I definitely believe mm. in him. You, I feel like we shouldn't really downplay his actions, you know, because he really have a bigger impact on our life than most yes, people sir. know. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, I told you earlier that I studied the Bible, and I studied. When I say I studied the Bible, man, I done studied different versions, different languages. Uh, I done translated translated different versions of the Bible in uh, Hebrew form. Uh. Haitian form. Um, I, I just tapped in a lot, man. You feel me, Sam? Uh, so, as I speak on the creator, man, uh, I don't necessarily think it's a him. I don't necessarily think it's a she in it. She either, you feel me, Sam? If it had to be a physical form, though, it would be a she because you only get life from she. You know? It is true. Uh, the, the, the son, the son, the son of God, Jesus, he had a mother, right? Right. In the Bible, God had to have a mother too. Why she don't get no credit? I feel I feel the King James version of the Bible is so misogynistic. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it is very misogynist. Uh, um, <laughs> I feel I'm going too deep, man. I when I I be going, I be tired. Nah, you you good? This your podcast, man. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, what I was saying now. Uh, if if it, if the creator was supposed to be a physical form, it would be a woman. To me, it would be a woman. So that's why I respect women. Um, yeah, I might I might get out of line sometimes. Be like, man, uh, but you got you got to think about it though. But that's normal, <laughs> very normal. Like you you. Yeah, that is normal. We, yeah, we don't be meaning that for real. It's just it's just anger. Yeah, it's anger. Uh, but yeah, I I, I get I get love to my mom, my grandma, rest in peace. Uh, my aunties. It, it, women, women matter so much, man. You know, women, women is the foundation of life. It starts with them. Um, but if if I had to say the creator was, uh, if I wanted to idolize it, it's energy. In 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 the Bible, it says, "We shall create the earth, the heavens and earth." You feel what I'm saying? Who is we? Who is we? Yeah. Who is we, man? <laughs> Therefore, it is, it's multiple gods for everything. So all of them transcend under one energy base. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a god. It's a god for the sun. That's why people in Egypt, ancient Egypt, they 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 uh worship the sun, they worship the land, they worship the cats, they worship all all type of different animals, man. Because they all they all resonated under one energy base. The creator, man. It's an energy. Why why you think life was so much better back then? Like when you read them books and you look at the hieroglyphics and shit, man, life was amazing for them people, man. Until we until we taught them people how to how to do what we do when they used it against them, man. Life was actually amazing for those people, man. Um Um I, I, I try I I try to build a relationship with the creator, man. Uh you know, we all we all split an image of the creator. Everything in the world is connected. Um, the trees got branches. The trees are brown. We are brown. We got arms. Um, the trees have leaves and shit. We got hair, antenna. You feel what I'm saying? The trees, the trees, leaves are his antenna. Our hair is our antenna to the spiritual. 
You feel what I'm saying? The spiritual. Yeah, man. Yeah, I do. I do know about that though. Like your, like your hair. Like they say, um, that locks they have like a different type of energy stored in them. That's why you see most people with locks cut their hair, man. They trying to restore the energy, man. They um. Uh, uh, recently, NLE Chopper cut his hair. Uh, yeah, I seen. He that. said, "Uh, it's a ritual for him. Uh, he trying to uh restore his life and what he used to be. You know. Um, at black people, we have nine strands of DNA. The only people on Earth with nine strands of DNA. Um, and we also have neuromelanin, and our hair is nine ether. That's why our hair curled in a nine pattern." Take a piece of your hair right now. You'll see that it curls in a nine pattern. Um, that's beautiful. What did that feel like being the only? What did that feel like to you being the only person on this earth with nine ether hair or nine strands of DNA, man? Oh yeah, that powerful though. It's like you a god, man. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like when you when you, when you look up when you look up the definition of god, that's God, man. Uh, I was saying, man, the creator said we all created in the image. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all minister demigods. Um, you in Greek mythology, man? You you like Greek mythology? I feel like every every man every man yeah. had a phase of Greek mythology, like Percy Jackson, Hercules, or some shit. Oh yeah, I, I know about them, but I ain't too big on it. Yeah, you know? man. Uh. Sometimes I be feeling like one of them niggas, you know, like Thor or some shit. Like, damn, man. Like, you gotta operate like that, man. Uh, shit, just a blessing for real, man. You, when people tap in and learn the knowledge, man, shit, I open them. So I open them, man. Um, what's something that you learned from this podcast that you are you for? For the rest of your life now. Well, not even the rest of your life, but uh, the rest of this year. Um, tap in and really be open to other people's point of view. Because I ain't going to lie. I learned, I learned a lot talking mm. to you. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know, you know, we don't normally talk like this. Yeah, for sure. So like, so, like, it was good to brush up on that and just add some more knowledge. For real, for real. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to have you on the podcast again, though, man. Real, real soon, man. Real, real soon. Uh, I got to go down my for list sure. of people, man. Uh, I really enjoy talking to you, man. Like, I love talking to uh, black brothers my age, man. It's, I'm telling you, man, this shit the truth. Truth, man. man. Um, I'm glad you had me on, though. For sure, for sure. man. Uh, Stay blessed. Uh, stay positive. Stay loving. Uh, more light to you, man. Uh, continue being successful. Continue playing football. Don't never give up on your dream. I don't give a fuck of your car breakdown, nigga. Walk. <laughs> man. Nigga walk, man. Uh, you need people like me out here, man. Giving everybody a chance, a chance to speak, uh, tell their truth, man. Um, I, I really, I'm really proud of you, man. Nobody else proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too, dude. Yeah, bro. Man. For sure. Ain't nobody proud of you. I'm proud of you. Nobody love you. I love you, man. Uh, man, love you too, fam. Well, this set the record straight, man. My boy Jaden Wayne, give him a round of applause, man. Hey, bro. Keep going with the podcast too. Cause you don't never know. You don't never know the impact you got, bro. And who and who listening to it? Feel me? Hey man. Hey man. This 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 a blessing man. for me, man. I got a smile on my face right now, nigga. Every time I end up man, yesterday, <laughs> man, I was nervous as fuck starting their podcast. Uh, now today, man, I'm so confident in it. I might say arm um, a little bit, but it, it, it's just I'm trying to get my thought process together, man. This shit. This shit is not planned, bro. This shit off the head, man. Uh, y'all gotta give me, y'all gotta uh, cut me some slack, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. 
I'm super proud of this podcast myself, man. Shout out Bobo, Bobo in the uh, audience, man. Blessing him on there, man. He he here the whole time. Y'all y'all won't be able to hear him or nothing, but he was here the whole time. Uh, Dream come true, really, man. I, I really started this podcast because I want to be heard. You know, uh, it give me a chance to speak and people to, uh, that don't know me it give me a chance to like, uh, yeah, get an insight of who I am. You know. Here we go, hey, you know what I'm but once again, man, I love you. Continue being successful. Continue setting an example for the youth out here, man. Um, and just, just always be that company person and family, man. I would be that family man. Nah, we, we we can't get off here, man. We gotta say the affirmation, uh, bro. I'm a forgot. You know I'm, I'm I'm really tapped in. <laughs> I'm really tapped hey, in. hey, you really tapped in, bro. Hey, hey, shout out to Jaden, man. He tapped in for real. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold up, man. <laughs> you caught me on guard without him because shit, I, that that's something I wasn't gonna do, bro. Cause I, you know, yesterday it, it, it failed. But hey, hey, man, I really, I really, sure, I really man. love fuck with you though for the support, man. Hey, that, that that's crazy, man. Um, like Jaden said, man, we finna get into the affirmation. Um, hold on, <laughs> we finna get into the affirmation, man. Mm. Man, that crazy you actually remember that. <laughs> I man, really tapped in, though, no for real. Because well, like, you know, you, you, oh, yeah. you know, I'd be tapped in, I'd be super tapped in. So, you know, I'd be, I, I got so much stuff on my phone, man. Uh, a lot of shit, man. But shit, uh, repeat after me, man. We are happy. We are happy. We are healthy. We are healthy. We are wealthy. We are wealthy. May we be safe. May we be safe. May we be protected. May we be protected. Hard times don't last. Hard times don't last. Only makes us stronger. Only makes us stronger. We are successful. We are successful. We are powerful. We are powerful. And we'll not give up. And we'll not give up. Another round of applause for my boy Jaden Wing, man. 2023, the motive is to get rich, man. For sure. Hey, yeah. stop I'm, stop hating on your brother and sister too, bro. They're lame. Man. Support. Do not hate on your people, man. Support everybody, Support, man. Support, bro. Love. Peace and positivity, man. Uh, see you later, Jaden, man. Love, man. Love.